So a lot of you guys might have seen a text message go out yesterday about a Zoom room. Um, and that is basically going to be an everyday or every other day thing. I'm just trying to finalize the details about it. So what it's going to be, guys, is this just going to be an, <clears throat> an open Zoom room where we'll just have a dial session together. Um, a lot of people since COVID and all that stuff, you know, have <clears throat> been doing the, the Zoom rooms or you have to be on camera or at least be present in the Zoom call to, uh, uh, you know, to work with a certain company, right? That's W2 kind of deal. But I like the idea of having community where we all can just kind of see each other, you know, even if that's pitching. A lot of you guys joined yesterday, probably saw some like Peppa Pig on the TV behind me. You know, my daughter's got her little headphones in. So we'll have like two or three hour dial sessions in a Zoom room, probably do that every Monday. Uh, I'm thinking I'm trying to put it together. So maybe Monday, Wednesday and Friday, something like that. I'll know for sure next week, um, but it's just an open discourse, right? So everybody's going to be on mute. You don't need to have your camera on or anything like that. Um, but it's just going to be a room where you guys can be pitching. And if you need help, you know, you can raise your hand and I can just jump right there on the call with you, right? We have a functionality in the CRM that is going to allow us to jump on calls. Right now, though, it's just for like um, a different setting. So um, we don't have access to that call, but the Zoom room is going to be pretty key in, uh, in helping you guys if, if you need help closing on the phone or maybe you have a question about an application. And I'm right here. Boom. So um, the next thing we'll talk about real quick, <clears throat> I just want to share with you guys. Um, let me share my screen with you. But I want to show you guys a report that you should be running, if not every day, at least once every week. And this way, we'll be able to set goals and uh, dial our goals down based on this report as well. So we all know to set the income goal, right? The revenue goal that's on the dashboard. Let me log out of this. That's one thing that's just kind of in our, you know, in the background. So my admin's not gonna have a ton of data in here, but let me share this with you. Share screen, boom. Perfect. So um, if you guys have like an admin or something like that, and you guys want to give them access, you can also have, you know, separate CRMs, just a heads up. So if you got someone who you want to call on your policies and stuff like that, you know, you can actually set them up a CRM as well. So um, what you'll do is go to reports. This is very important. This is extremely important. Actually, I want you guys to do this before we even have one-on-ones too, just so that it kind of sets the tone for our, our coaching calls. I want you guys to do a call report, do it for the month. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you a, for, a formula. I know you guys have already seen this before, but I'm gonna show you a formula. Um, and then run it for the day, or sorry, for the month, right? So, so let's pretend maybe they had, let's just say 600 calls. Right. We'll, we'll pretend like they had 600 calls. And then I want you to look at talk minutes. Let's say they had 249 talk minutes. And I guess it, I could put it up here. 600 calls, 249 minutes. So this will just be, and, and they both will be on the same report, right? Everybody following, uh, total calls, and then talk minutes. It's all on the same report. So, and you want to run this at least like every week or like every two times a month, once on the 15th, and once at the end of the month to kind of gauge where you're at as far as the hours you're putting in. But um, you'll hear a ton of acronyms about this, guys, like RPAs, revenue producing activities or income producing activities, right? That's what this metric is for my outbound folks, okay? Um, this is basically going to show you exactly how much time you guys are spending with revenue producing activities. So let's do the math. Here's the formula, okay? Can you guys see that? One call equals one minute, all right? I'm a dummy, so I'm gonna put how many hours is 
600 minutes. That's 10 hours, All right? So then you can come in here and put 10 hours. How many minutes is 200? I mean, how many hours is 249 minutes, right? You see, I'm just Googling it. I don't know the exact number. I'm lazy, so I'm going to Google everything. Let's just add another. Let's add another two hours to this. I know it says four hours. Let's just say maybe two hours just for the sake of uh, like, and if anybody calls into the, the phone or, you know, maybe you take a call on your cell phone or something like that. Um, so we'll just say six hours in this instance, right? Six hours. So that's a total of 16 hours, which technically, right, a full-time job is, is two days. Two days. Two days of work, right? That's 10 hours, six hours, 16. So you see how powerful this formula is? I want everybody on this call to run this number when we get off this call. And then ask yourself if the goals you have set in the CRM, like maybe it's 20,000. I don't think she has a goal in here. Uh, okay, 15,000. Is that going to be enough if that, if she worked two hours, or I'm sorry, two full days, and it's the 11th, and she's only worked two full days, right? Now she's W-2, I'd be able to just fire her. <laughs> like straight up, like if I'm hiring somebody to work eight hours a day and they only work two, two hours and it's the 11th, do you think this person would keep their job, right? Everybody's heard fake it till you make it. I know we've all heard that before. That doesn't mean go out and buy Jordans if you can't afford them. That doesn't mean go out and buy a car that looks like a Mercedes or still a Mercedes emblem or a Bentley em emblem and fake it till you make it. Dude, I want you guys to think fake it till you make it. Pretend like it's a job. Take it serious. I want to try to get this dang camera to turn on, but uh, I'm not the best with technology either. But guys, if you need help with that formula, hit me up. We can run it together. I ain't judging you. I'm guilty of it as well. But I just need to be, I need you guys to see the reality, right? I need you guys to see the reality. Now, what about call-ins? I'm waiting on an answer to see if we can have, uh, if we could track the time in a queue. But another thing you could do is call it a lead tracker right here. And this is just the second thing I want you guys to, to take a look at. So the lead tracker is going to let you know how many leads you took within a given amount of time. All right. Same thing here. Maybe it's a hundred leads and then maybe she sold five out of the hundred. That's going to give you your, your closing percentage right here. So this will show you what you're closing at, what clip you're closing at. Um, let's see. So Ashley, we're looking at dials, how many dials the agent would have made. So we said 600 dials is equal to 10 hours. The, the formula for that, Ashley, is one dial equals one minute. I've been doing this for like, like 12 years and it's always equaled out, like averaged, right? One minute, regardless of if it's an immediate voicemail, if it goes past a minute and you're leaving a voicemail, the average of 100 dials is going to equal one minute on the phone every time. And then you're going to take that number, find out how many hours that is, and then boom, go into the talk minutes. I just Google everything because I'm terrible. I'm terrible with math. So um, let's see. The next report I want to show you guys is like a lead tracker. And that's going to be this guy right here. So you could do it once a month or, you know, you want to track basically how many leads you've taken within a given amount of time and then how many sales you've made on those leads. But you, if you're outbound, you can do an, a lead tracker as well. And let's say you're doing, you're taking a hundred web leads, right? So you can track how many of those web leads delivered between a time frame. Maybe it's August 1st to August 11th, get that number, maybe well, honestly, a hundred should have delivered by then, but let's just say you're at like a hundred now, right today. And it's the 11th. Then you can compare that report with your calls report and get the average amount of calls you spent on one lead. Right? So what if it's 
50 lead? What if you have 50 calls and 100 leads delivered to your CRM? Right? Is that good? Probably not, right? You probably made you, you probably have like 50 new leads sitting there that haven't been dialed. Each lead should at least have eight contact attempts. So for each lead order of 100 web leads, the minimum, guys, the bare minimum should be 800 calls on 100 leads. That's bogus numbers baked in. You know, we could even say 600. Let's say 600 calls on 100 web leads. That'll give you your sales. That'll give you your bogus leads, all that stuff, right? So these numbers are like extremely important. I want you guys to set goals. How many hours do you plan on working in this business, right? How many hours do you plan on working a week? That's not for me. I'm, I, you know, I, I don't, I don't care how many hours. If you want to work ten hours, work ten hours. But like, set the goal and hit the goal, right? So it can't be like a guess every day. You can't like log in, make a sale, and dip because it's not going to work. It's not going to work. I promise you. I'm sorry. It's not. I don't want to see. It. I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings on the call. And I definitely don't want you to hurt your family because it's going to hurt your family if you think you could make a sale and then just jump off. It's just, it's better to set the KPI, the goals on the metrics that I'm giving you than it is to set it like as like, oh, I got a sale. I'm good. Right. So that's not, um, that's not going to be the best way to do it. You want to have an hourly like kind of thing. Like I want to work three hours a day. Right. Because the alternative is eight. You know, and it's it's building someone else's business. And my cousin right now, I try to put him on. Um, I try to put him on to life insurance. And I told him about this metric. And I said, dude, he's a nurse, by the way. I said, dude, you're you're working um eight, 10 hours a day sometimes. And that's non-negotiable. You're you're clocked in and you're putting in 40, 50 hours a week. He's like, Man, I know I see what you're doing. And you, you know, sometimes you work less than 40 hours a week. I'm like, dude, I, I work less than 40 hours a week all the time. I work like 20 hours a week, like 30 hours a week on the phones. But I mean, granted, I have meetings and stuff, right? But I'm still making like double what he's making, just putting in half the amount of time on these re revenue and, you know, income producing activities. Now, here's where he uh, was kind of messing up at. His dad would hit him up. My, my uncle would hit him up and be like, hey, hey, Rick, what you doing? <laughs> He'd be like, oh, I'm just working. He'd be like, I'm going to pop by for a little bit. It's one o'clock in the afternoon on like a Tuesday. I'm going to pop by for a little bit. Rick goes, yeah, yeah, no worries, man. I, you know, I'm trying to get some dials in, but oh, uh, who cares, man? Just come on in. I'm like, dude, would you be able to do that at the, at the hospital? Why didn't he come visit you at the hospital? <laughs> well, well, I'm at work. I'm like, dude, you should take your business serious as if not more serious than the hospital. It's your freaking business. You know what I'm saying, guys? Like for real. And that's a real thing, man. Like I hate to see it, but, and, and now he's going to have to go back and, and do his thing. But when he goes back, he's going to be thinking, dude, I, I clocked in, I drove here. Hell, I probably worked more than 50 hours because I got to, it takes 30 minutes to get there. I'm spending money to show up to work. All we got to do is roll over out the side of the bed, maybe hit a workout or something and then come back and, and go back home. So I'm just trying to show you guys like a real example. Like you don't need to put 50 hours in, but at least let's get, you know, some goals for a time amount. Let's do like two hours a day, three hours a day. That's the only way we're going to make it. I'm not, I'm not going to sugarcoat shit. I'm not a W2 employee guys. I'm trying to help you guys win, man. And I don't want to see anybody not winning. Right. So, um, this isn't supposed to be a lecture. I'm sorry, guys. I just, I drink a bang energy and I just go off. Um, we'll, uh, you, you let's do, let's do some role plays real quick. Noah, let's get it, man. I want to think about it. Uh, <laughs> take your time. Take, take, take your time. <laughs> okay. Um, so you want to think about it. I adopted a formula.